A student drank two liters of fiber supplement for dinner. This is what happened to his intestines. CJ is a 22-year-old man presenting to the emergency room with nausea, vomiting, and constipation. He tells the admitting nurse that it was only a matter of time before he would take the biggest dump of his life he had been building up since he hadn't had a bowel movement for at least the last three weeks. You see, CJ was a student who was obsessed with health. He was studying nutrition and after reading articles on the internet, he was convinced. All of his health problems like allergies, headaches, and insomnia were because his colon needed to be cleansed. He read online that humans should get 25 to 30 grams of fiber in their diet daily, but Americans only average about 15 grams daily. He thought about every single day of his life where he was behind on his fiber intake. He liked cereals and grains and fruit, and those have some fiber, but it's not enough, he thought. He remembered all those times in his life when his bowel movements were inconsistent, both in timing and in feeling on the way out. If there's skid marks in the toilet, then it must be skidding in my colon too and causing all of my health problems, he thought. CJ eventually came to his own conclusion that for every day of his life that he didn't get 30 grams of fiber, he needed to make up for it. He went to the pharmacy and bought large tubs of psyllium husk fiber supplement. At first, he tried a few spoonfuls mixed in with water and for a few days, he felt great. His movements were regular and consistent. He could feel the cleanse happening. One day he told himself that he was ready. He prepped his body and mixed at least 30 scoops of psyllium husk fiber with two liters of water. He watched it congeal into a thick jelly before putting it down. Immediately after finishing two liters of fiber supplement, CJ could feel his stomach expand. He had trouble drinking it because the fiber had a consistency of jello, so he had to chew it to swallow it. As the hours passed, CJ's stomach kept expanding. He felt full and didn't need to eat dinner. But then he realized the fiber supplement tasted like orange jelly and thought to make peanut butter and fiber supplement jelly sandwiches for a midnight snack and have the cleanest colon possible. Only then can my body absorb the best and healthiest nutrients during the day. But the feeling wasn't good. At first, he felt a little burning at the top of his abdomen. If the fiber jelly can be diluted with some extra water, then time to drink an extra glass, he thought, as he went to bed on an ever-expanding stomach. In the morning, CJ could still feel the fiber sitting in his belly. But from everything that he gathered in his online readings, that's how it's supposed to be. It needs time to scrub out years worth of skid marks. Eating breakfast, then lunch, and then having more fiber for dinner would undoubtedly push it all down to wash in to his intestines. But as the days passed, he noticed he was eating less and less. He felt more and more bloated and nauseous after eating. He realized that it had been days since he had a bowel movement. He tried convincing himself that it was the fiber doing a deep clean of his colon. Until 10 days later, CJ couldn't eat anymore. He couldn't drink anymore. All he could feel was his abdomen burning. To cope with the pain, he kept saying that it needed time to clean. But finally, the hurt became too strong. He could feel a giant lump in his abdomen with his hands, and when he pushed just a little bit on it, a sour taste would flood into his mouth from under his tongue, and he could feel his stomach cramp and shake. He would sit on the toilet until he could feel pins and needles prickling his feet, and nothing would move. He could feel a burning at the base of his neck. The pain became too unbearable, and he realized that something was happening as he calls for 911, and he's brought to the emergency room where we are now. At examination, doctors found that CJ was agitated. He's breathing, he's conscious and responsive, so no problem there. His stomach was swollen. When doctors asked CJ if he had eaten anything, his eyes lit up and he told them that he had been cleansing his colon. He told them about some laxatives that he took when he noticed that he stopped having bowel movements. But then they asked him if he knew why he stopped having those bowel movements. He told them about the two liters of fiber supplement he drank, but actually chewed, and peanut butter and psyllium husk jelly sandwiches that he ate for dinner. And this gives doctors some clues as to what could be happening. Psyllium is made from the husks of plant seeds. It's made of hemicellulose, which is fiber that in humans isn't digestible. Actually, cellulose found in plants is long chains of glucose sugar. Vegetable fibers generally don't taste sweet to us because we don't break them down to sugar, but in certain animal stomachs, 
Cellulose can be digested that way. Instead, in humans, this becomes what we know as fiber, which is needed to bulk up your stool and helps things more easily pass through the intestines. So causing the regularity you know about when it comes to eating enough fiber, which brings us to how psyllium works. In the small science experiment, I put psyllium husk supplement in a glass of water. The more psyllium that I put in, the thicker the water gets. It expands by absorbing water in. Human intestines absorb nutrients from food. You chew the food to crush it up. Your stomach mashes it up a little before sending it to the small intestines where nutrients are absorbed into your liver for processing. The further down the food goes along the intestines, the more that has already been absorbed from it. If the large intestines are given enough time to absorb a lot of water, then the stool becomes dry and hard, causing constipation. But if fiber is present, then it puts more water into the stool. Psyllium helps to hold on, not only pumping water into the stool, but it also lubricates as it moves things along for nice smooth movements out. Moving things faster reduces the time for the colon to reabsorb water, so then there's no more dry stool. Fiber helps stimulate gut bacterial growth, which will help with digestion. All of this giving almost only benefits to the GI tract, but something's wrong. If psyllium is mixed without enough water, it becomes a thick, jelly-like structure. CJ told the doctors that when he took two liters of fiber supplement, he couldn't actually drink it, but he had to chew it because it had become like a jello. You see, when psyllium is mixed with some water, it becomes thick. That's the way it's supposed to work, by putting water into the stool. But the problem is, when it becomes like a jelly, adding more water doesn't actually cause it to dissolve or break down. Even squeezing it with your hands might not break it up. And because the GI tract isn't a rigid solid like the bones, a block of psyllium can expand in the stomach and in the intestines and push up against the sides of the walls and block all movement through. And because the psyllium expands and doesn't dissolve when more water is added, this blockage can cause an impaction. Even if the stomach and the intestines are big, long muscles, squeezing the psyllium won't cut it up. Adding more water isn't going to push it down because it's larger than the hole that it's in and it keeps expanding. If it stays there, not only will nothing pass through, but as things keep piling higher, it can stretch the walls of the stomach and the intestines and limit the flow of blood. And because the gastrointestinal tract is a muscle that needs lots of oxygen to function, Disrupting blood flow can cause parts of it to necrose. In the emergency room, doctors do a CT scan and find that parts of CJ's intestines were dilated while others were collapsed. All of this suggesting that a high grade obstruction was happening inside CJ as he was sent in for surgery. Surgeons make small cuts and send scopes in to CJ. They find the parts of his intestines that were swollen and blocked. Because psyllium isn't hard like a walnut or some other kind of rigid solid, they were able to cut up the blockage gently to break things up without cutting open his intestines. The manipulation and fragmentation were enough to clear the blockage and get things to start moving along as they sent CJ into the recovery room where he did in fact have the largest bowel movement he's ever had in his life. A mild dose of additional laxative was given to him by medical staff to just make sure to move things along as he was moved to the step-down unit. Psyllium fiber is generally regarded as a safe supplement. It's been shown in clinical trials and meta-analyses of those clinical trials to lower cholesterol and help with heart disease risk in patients with hypercholesterolemia. Hyper meaning high. Cholesterol referring to a waxy fat-like substance that's needed in your body to survive and emia, meaning presence in blood. High cholesterol presence in blood. Keep in mind, if you don't have hypercholesterolemia, the risk of heart disease is a little different than if you do. So taking a small amount of psyllium, as recommended on the label, if you even want to take it at all, is the best way to do it. So let me be clear. Some psyllium, as recommended by your physician or pharmacist, if you even need it in the first place, is okay so long as you follow the label. 5 grams, 10 grams a day should be okay. 500 grams in 2 liters of water, probably not okay. And thinking that you're cleansing your colon that way, probably not okay. I may or may not have blocked my own intestines a long time ago, so I might be speaking not only on CJ's experience, but my own. It really hurts, and if it can fix itself, it takes a really long time. 
Mix it with lots of water before you take it down. If you don't, you're gonna block your colon at that point and create a need for surgery that you didn't need to have, just like in CJ's case. If you'd like to see more about how psyllium husk fiber becomes jelly, check out the video posted to my second channel, Heme Review, linked in the description below. After learning a lesson about fiber supplement and understanding that allergies, headaches, and insomnia probably couldn't be fixed by accidentally blocking his intestines, CJ was able to make a full recovery. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself and be well.